Cotton's a lot easier crop to grow these days than it was 20 or 25 years ago. We run a sustainable farm here. Tipperary's growing 100 hectares of irrigated cotton and we're growing 200 hectares of dryland cotton, but we prefer to call it rain-fed. So we're juggling planting it at the right time of year so that we can pick up the rainfall that we get from the monsoons to grow the cotton for us rather than relying on our um, irrigation licence and irrigated cotton. The myth around cotton growers being bad guys and using all the water, uh, I just need to dispel that myth. It just can't happen. Every farmer in the Northern Territory, like every farmer in Australia, has a water licence. I'm not using any more water than I'm allowed to use, it's licensed and I will use the water the best way that I can see fit. Efficiencies in cotton over the last 25 years have seen us using up to 45% less water to grow the same amount of cotton. We're under no illusions, we don't want to destroy the environment. In this area we have a very good monsoon season. In our particular instance at Edith Springs, we are planning to only grow dryland cotton and we'll grow that on the monsoon rains each year without having to top up with irrigation. The Northern Territory wet season is probably something you don't get anywhere in Australia. We're sort of hoping the dry land will be the winner. We've grown some crops here under irrigation that have used eight and ten megs to the hectare to get the crop through and although we're only supplementary irrigating this cotton here but it's probably only had two megs to finish it off. The water use is quite low. One thing we've found since putting our first cotton crop in last year is due to the fact that we've had two of the driest wet seasons on record up here, we're really excited that the crop has actually performed to a level that says when the wet season returned to normal this could be a very profitable and exciting crop to grow, giving farmers great cash flow and a good opportunity to diversify.